Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. As always, man, I'd like to show my appreciation for everybody clicking on this video. Make sure y'all hit that like button and also hit that bell if you haven't subscribed already. That way you don't miss a video, man. I greatly appreciate you. You know what's funny about this journey, man, is you're gonna be challenged, all right? And I can only speak for myself when I say I love a challenge. So I love this journey. The fact that it makes me or it forces me to work on myself, it forces me to get uncomfortable. All right, I can't get comfortable because as soon as I get comfortable, that's when the attacks come and that's when I fall short. I go backwards, all right? So the fact that I'm challenged every day gives me the opportunity to stay 10 toes down, discipline, and, and focus, you know what I'm saying? The devil will attack you on this journey, guys. I'm saying all this to let you know this, to get you prepared for this. Because it's not going to be a walk in the park. And you shouldn't want it to be a walk in the park, honestly. You know, me, I've been a gamer all my life, so I like to play games on the hardest difficulty. I like a challenge. I don't like for it to be easy because it's no fun. I don't feel like I'm gaining any skills to really get through the stages and, and beat the game. All right, same thing with my life. I want to feel like I'm gaining skills and I'm actually growing so I can handle more pressure, so I can level up. If your life is easy all the time, you never go through anything, no, no hardships, no trauma, then you will never evolve. You will stay the same, right? Because you have no reason to, to evolve. So you got to have the good and the bad in your life. All right, if you look at it, see a lot of people think that when you're going through something bad, it's just the devil And when you go through something good It's God But you gotta understand You gotta see it from a different perspective Most of the time You're put through growing phases Alright The hard times Is the time for you to grow The good times Is your reward So don't think everything is bad But on this journey You will be challenged You will have obstacles in your way The funny thing is The enemy knows you It knows what you like It knows what you don't like Okay you got to understand when you came into this world, there's entities and demons who are assigned just to you, for you. They know everything about you and they're assigned to you to be the opposition. They are here to oppose you and make sure that you don't fulfill your life purpose, your soul mission. And they know what you like. So the things that you are addicted to or some of the things that you have a hard time controlling, right? They're going to send those things into your life. Whether it's any type of food, whether it's women, you know, person, place or thing, whatever it is that gives you a hard time and distracts you from your, your soul mission and your purpose and your journey, they're going to throw that at you. OK, and this is where the obstacles come, guys. You got to be disciplined. See, this body is like a toddler, but your soul is ancient. So you're fighting against the body, essentially, to discipline it and gain control of it to lead it on a righteous path your soul already wants to do that but the body has a mind of its own these urges that you get these desires and the lust that you have for the material world that is what you're going against and on this journey you as the ancient soul has to lead this toddler which is the body to righteousness that is the battle that we face every single day it's always going to be an opposition. It's always going to be an opposite opposing force. And the goal is to get those forces to work together. Your goal is to work together with the body. Soul and body merge as one and become one. You have to make sure that you build great habits for yourself each and every day. You can't fall short of that. As soon as you fall short off your, your habits, you're going to build a terrible routine for yourself. And that terrible routine is going to come in the form of a terrible lifestyle. Because you are what you do every single day i want y'all to get this through your head you are what you do every single day so look at your life and look at what you're doing every single day and, and ask yourself am i bringing these attacks on myself by just what i do okay i don't want us to just blame some outside force that you you never seen before and say oh this is the reason why i relapse or this is the reason why i keep falling backwards i keep relapsing backsliding all these things 
You got to look at yourself too. Are you being a demon in your own life? Because sometimes that's just what it is. We become our own opposing force in our life. Our worst enemy. As soon as you gain knowledge of yourself. As soon as you start to gain more powers within yourself. You're going to be attacked. As soon as you wake up. Into your full consciousness. As soon as you start to. Retain your essence. Become a better version of yourself. That is a loud energy. Okay. I'm not talking vocally. I'm talking about your aura your magnetic aura field around your body is strong and these entities can pick up on that signature whenever you wake up you're like a light in the darkness so as soon as you light up they attack right they swarming at you like in the matrix with the with the uh the machines they could feel electromagnetic energy and as soon as they felt that they, they could attack it they can pinpoint it they can locate it like gps and attack that ship right so you have to understand that you are like a target but you have the power to win you just have to believe in yourself you have everything that you need okay any opposing force that's coming at you you have the power to stop it there's nothing more powerful than you you are a child of the most high god but the most high god is all powerful what does that make you you are a product of that you have to start carrying yourself in a way that you understand who you are do you know who you are sit down with yourself and ask yourself why do i get attacked so much you know why is there why is all these opposing forces trying to stop me from my mission you know if something is trying to stop you that means you're doing something right that means you're doing something that is against the status quo if you know what i mean so yeah guys this is a spiritual war you can see it just with the music. You can see it with entertainment, with everything, the food. It is a war against you and your energy. All right. So you got to make sure that you are guarding your energy at all costs. Don't let nobody take this treasure from you. It is your essence. Guys, you got to wake up, man, and you got to be present in the moment. You can't let, you know, your autopilot, your automated self take control and lead you down a dark path. Right. I know sometimes we all fall short and, and we start doing things and we get caught in this routine. And next thing you know, you kind of went back on, on, on your goals and all these things. We, we get there. You know, so I understand that, guys. But don't don't let that continue for so long. Catch it. Take some time out throughout your day to just reflect on what you're doing, the choices that you're making. OK, because as we wake up, we have to understand that we are responsible for everything that happens in our life by the choices that we make. And some folks don't understand this. The choices that you make affect you. This is why before you make a decision, you got to really think it through. You got to see the future. We are going into the 5D, guys. This is what 5D consciousness is. 5D thinking is. It's being able to see multiple timelines. If I make the decision, what timeline is that going to leave me in? Right, see it before it happens. You guys gotta understand if you don't want to relapse and you really want to try to gain more control over yourself, you gotta see the future before it happens. You know, I mean, if I go look at these cheeks, man, what's gonna happen? Am I strong enough to hold on to my energy? Do I have discipline enough and strength to be able to not lose my essence in this moment? You know, a lot of you guys, man, you gotta understand. Retention, there's levels to this. All right, so in the beginning stages, it's all about learning how to control your energy. And then as you get more um, familiar and confident with that, then you can start learning how to utilize your energy in different ways. But for now, I just leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? That's another video. Don't be the devil in your life. Make sure you're making the right decisions. Make sure the things that you know you have a hard time resisting that you make out a plan right write it down guys write an affirmation down that says hey i'm not going to indulge in this today because i know this thing is going to take me down a dark path it's going to make me do things i don't want to do it's going to make me feel a, a certain way that i don't want to feel anymore write these things down guys affirm yourself i will be protected i am a child of the most high god there's no demon no devil that has enough power over me to make me do anything i don't want to do Affirm yourself with that, man. 
We got to start understanding that we have all the power within us. Okay, and the more you start thinking like this, the more you start to unlock your DNA that's going to allow you to access more powers, more memories of yourself. You guys seen the movie Lucy? The more she was able to access her mind, the more power she had. She was able to manipulate energy and, and matter around her. She was able to manipulate people. And we all have that same capability. All right, but it all starts with your mind. It's, it starts with the way that you think. If you don't believe you can do something, then you put a block. It's like you put a restriction on that part of your mind. You block off those neurons for having a connection with each other. It's all about connecting neurons. You got billions. You got as many neurons as the stars. Start believing in yourself. Okay? Stop giving these demons so much power. They don't have no control over you. And as soon as you realize that, you'll see yourself have enough power and resistance to avoid these traps. To fight the pressure. To withstand this journey for the long haul. All right. With that being said, if you guys want to donate to the channel, I'll leave all my links in the description and in my pinned comments. Also, if you want a consultation, talk to your boy Tay. I'll leave a link for that as well. That being said, man, y'all have a beautiful day and I'm out. Peace.